Hello everybody, this is Charles Dowdrick with his very first tutorial on Inkscape. This is about how to vectorize your art into your computer for improvement. As you can see, I already have my base sketch up. You will hear, hear me make a series of funny noises, slur my speech, and everything else. Because that's who I am. But I have already imported the image I want to work on. I just scanned this in here not even 20 minutes ago. What you need to do first, though, is open up Inkscape, which I have already done. It will pop up at the top. As you can see here, it will say New Document. Not two, but one. I'm on Document 2 because I had to select a new template as a canvas to work on. And I currently work with this. Not saying you have to. We all have our preferences. After I did that, I went to control I and imported my my picture into the program or or you can just go to file and import and I'll save you a lot of time now when you import your image you want to embed it because if you link it you have more of a chance of losing your work if you just link it when Inkscape per se is crash if you do too much of a complicated thing now vectorizing your art into here isn't hard at all. You bring it in, it's on layer 1. Your picture comes in on layer 1. To create a new layer is Control shift n If you want to see all these shortcuts that I use, they're actually in the add layer, Control shift n Most of these will tell you the quick cuts to these. This will save you a lot of time in any work you do. Now I have already created my layers and have brought up the layers menu which is actually conveniently showed by the shortcuts here. Now this will bring up a create a new layer, move up, move to top, move to bottom, hide a layer, delete a current layer. This little eye will open and hide layers. You see it's add? No you don't. You see it? You see, don't. You can do the same with the base image or any layer you're working on at the time. Now I have already vectorized this head in with the main features. This is all I'm going to do for today. But let me show you what tools I use to do this. To zoom in, you hold control and roll forward on your scroll bar on your mouse. Now vectors are simply this. This looks like a polygon, doesn't it? Polygons for the win! Yay! Boo! Now, um, to smooth these out and make these notes symmetrical, you need to come up from this tool to draw visor curves and straight lines, the F6, which creates your vector lines, and go up to the Edit Paths by Nodes. These little squares here are nodes. Now, this looks rather sharp and boxy, doesn't it? You hold down Control, you go over the node till it's red, and you left click. Now this has smoothed out a symmetrical path to the nodes. And voila. You have a deformed stalker slash maybe marshmallow idea there. But you can also move these nodes like this. And trust me, if you mess up like that, you just hit control Z and it disappears. Now if you click on the node, it brings up these little handlebars which will alternate each side equally. But sometimes they don't look right, so what you want to do is if you just want to pick a specific line that you're on, you bring this in between, you click on that line, and you can drag it like this. And now we have a tooth, the voila, or a Pac-Man. Let's go with Pac-Man. Waka waka waka. Deformed fishy Pac-Man. And this is basically how vectors work. As you can see, if you have any concept, which I'm sure you do if you're going to be doing a lot of digital art and proportioning, you can set your art into this program and create specific vectors to do the head, the eyes, the nose, and mouth. Now to go over top of these, you want to make sure your layers are all above the next layer. Clothing will be the very top layer. 
and the background will be the very bottom layer. The person itself will be the mid-range layer set. So everything comes in different layer sets. It depends what you want to work on first, and you can go back and make layers below or above, but it's quicker to work from the bottom up or from the top down. It's an artist's preference. This is my short tutorial on vectorizing art. And what can I say? There'll be another one soon. Have a good day, everybody.